Hello and welcome back to the When You're Podcast, the podcast for when you're doing anything. Today we're talking about when you're on Groundhog Day. So it is officially Groundhog Day and, you know, I, I kind of want to talk about like when you're in the like in the movie scenario where you live the day over and over again, but I thought I would start this podcast off with a little understanding of what the actual Groundhog Day is. So all my life I've grown up and I was it was just told that the groundhog pokes its head out of the ground. Like the whole day is centered around uh, an animal coming out of the ground, right? It literally pops up. It emerges from its hole, from its hibernation hole. And it looks up into the into the sky or whatever, right? That's that's what the whole thing is. This is what I was taught. This, this is what I remember from uh, people telling me about it. But eventually, essentially, the groundhog comes out of the ground and it looks up and is like, "Yo, is it is it good weather or not?" And apparently, if the groundhog like stays out of its hole, like it means, um, I think it means that we're good, like we're chilling. Like spring is going to come earlier, but if it goes back into its hole, it means like we got to tough out the winter a couple more weeks. That's kind of what the basis of it is. That's what I remember. Now I'm Googling this. And so, okay, here it is. It's a uh, Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerges from its burrow on the, on this day and sees its shadow due to clear weather, it will retreat to its den and winter will go on for six more weeks. If it does not see its shadow because of cloudiness, spring will arrive early. So, wait. So, okay. The weather is clear. So the sun is out. It's bright. It's shining. And it's like, there's my shadow. Right over there. That means I have to hide. That means there's how does that mean that they know it's going to be more winter? Like when did the sun, when did clear skies and 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 the sunny day imply that it might be like that all the time? But instead, if it's if it's cloudy, it's like yo, actually spring is coming early. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if that's that's accurate. So, all, all we really need to know is that groundhog sees shadow, not good. Groundhog doesn't see shadow, uh, it's going to be spring pretty quick, pretty quickly. And that's, I guess that makes sense. I don't know, how, um, uh, how, how do you think, like, back in the, these Pennsylvania Dutch people, you know, this is the super, uh, how did they, how did they learn this? When did they, you know, what what is it about them? What caused the superstition? Somebody had to be watching the groundhogs and then said, well, it popped out, it saw its shadow and went back in. And then we had winter for however many weeks, for six more weeks. And then they have to wait until next year and then be like, well, the groundhog saw that the sky was cloudy and it was it was actually happy on this day. And spring came early. Like, how do they? Because what if I go outside and I see my shadow and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's going to be six more weeks of, of winter. But if it's I don't see my shadow, then I can realistically say, hey, you know, spring is coming early. Like, I don't know if this superstition really holds any weight, but. We have a day for it, and it's Groundhog Day. And without it, it would not have sparked such a wonderful movie like Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Uh, spoilers for that movie. I, I am going to talk about it in depth. Oh, maybe not in depth. I'm just going to talk about it. It's not even really a spoiler, but just in case. I'm going to talk about the overall concept of it. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Uh, the, the movie is just really about Bill Murray. 
He has to live his everyday life over and over. He relives the same day over and over again. And we see him go through like this torture and torment of like, um, you know, his life and the things that he wants. And it's all for some girl. Like, I, I honestly, for me, like watching the movie, I was like, oh, that's nice for him. You know, he, he finally changed and became a man that was uh, deserving of somebody he like likes. But at the same time, it was kind of like, I don't know if it was all that 100% worth it. But, you know, hey, everybody everybody wants something. Everybody has their own goals. So for him, in order for him to achieve a certain woman, he had to become a certain man, a certain person. A giving and fun and more care... Uh, I was going to say carefree. He, 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 a lot more loving. You know? Somebody who really appreciates life who cares about others who appreciates others and does things for them so the whole time i'm watching the movie at first you know he's obviously disgusting he's he's got no he's not really a good guy it's it's pretty they try to punch that in you at the beginning and then once he starts um Realizing he's living the same day over and over again, you're kind of, he kind of goes into the state of like, all right, what do I do? What what's going on? Why is that everything keeps on happening to me? And that's the and that's the whole dilemma, right? What what do you do with all that time? What do you do with uh, the world repeating over and over and over again? And um, this kind of concept has been done over a lot of times because it's it's fun and it's uh and it also shows that like what what are we capable of if we had to relive the same day over and over again what can we do with it and what what would other people do with it what would characters and and movies and shows and what would you and other people do so in the movie we see, we literally see him try it all, you know. He's this in this torment and this uh, repeat cycle. He's basically got infinite time on his hands, and he's tortured by it. And normally, uh, I think right off the, uh, right away, we see him kind of have fun with it, or like do things that he normally wouldn't do, or. Uh, Try things that like are in his nature, and then eventually you get bored with it, right? Wouldn't you get bored of eating the same food every single day, the same this, the same that, wearing these clothes, doing this, talking to this person? Like, if you had to relive your day over and over and over again, eventually you would get tired of it, and you're like, you know what? Let me try something new. Let me do something different. Let me try to to better myself or to do something else. And that's what happens to him. Eventually, you know, he lives his day every single day helping others, uh, doing good things for people and not being so selfish, not being so him, him, him and being more like, how can I help you out? How can I help this person? How can I uh, be of service to others? And that's where he was able to he was able to actually change. And that's what that amount of time does for people is when you're really dedicated to something you can change you can better yourself you can become somebody else and you can achieve the things that you want and he wants this girl and once he changes because eventually time you know over time if we we stay the same it, it kind of life becomes a little stale when we add a little change when we add a little friction to our lives we're able to see what we're capable of and challenge ourselves and become better people. And I like that. I like that message about the movie. And I also uh I also like the helping of others part. Like if I had that much time on my hands, of course I would I would love to help. I would love to help people all the time. But it, it would I would also kind of be like there's only so much I can do, you know? Like Uh, I'm trying, like, if I was on a boat, you know, it takes time to get on, to, 
to get on the boat, ride the boat, and then go wherever. I, I just think for me, you know, if I'm, what would I do? Day after day, what what would I do? And, I mean, given uh, any particular place, like, like, let's say I'm here at my house. I mean, I would love to try so many things. There's so many things that I would, I would go out there and try and do just to do it. But on a day-to-day basis, I don't know how much, how much help I would be or who I could help. Who in my day-to-day life could I help? Especially the day I had today. It, it feels like I got a lot done in the morning and then like kind of in the mid-afternoons, it was, I don't want to say it was boring, but it was just like there, there wasn't a lot of big things for me to go out there and do. So I guess I would add more things onto it, right? But on a day-to-day basis, you know, every single day, waking up, waking up, waking up, I would probably, um, you know, I would probably devote a little bit, uh, a little bit more time on maybe being outside. That's what I would probably do. I'd probably spend a lot more time. Maybe I'd go on a walk. I'd probably go on a, on a long, long walk to, uh, a place, maybe by a, a like a, like a, probably buy some water, you know, just a drink, you know, not, not like a alcoholic beverage, more of like a, a, like a soft drink, something, something quick, something kind of like taste, tasteful or, you know, hydrating as well. So that's why I said like water, like a bottled water or something. And then keep on with my day. That's probably what I would do. I, I kind of like that, that idea. I kind of like, uh, I like being outside a little bit more because it's it's cold, but you know, obviously with the hoodie and like a nice, you know, uh, and some sweatpants or whatever, and some shoes and whatnot, it's actually pretty nice. You know, it's pretty pretty cool out there. But again, every single day, you know, I can't just. I can walk, but I can walk every day. Sure, no, no, no doubt about it. But it's more of like, what else would I do? In a in a, in a time loop where you can do anything, where you can try anything, where you can start anything, and then like you can keep developing and developing and developing and developing over and over and over again. What would you What would you do? I I would try so many different things. I would go for like a. Uh, you know, I would go to like a, I would go to a beach. I would go swimming, or maybe I would try. Uh, like I would stay in like Costco or something, and just like chill in Costco. I don't know, dude. I'm just thinking of like funny things that I could try and and get done. Um. Maybe I would make a podcast every single day. Just like talk that, hey guys, I'm in this infinite time loop thing. But then nobody listens to it. Unless unless I post it early. If I post it early, I can see how many views I can get like right off the jump. But then nobody would nobody would care. Nobody would listen. Although I could perfect like the you know, I could try to figure that that whole algorithm thing out, but that won't work. It have to, it the, the the editing would have to be amazing. I would have to like uh, get amazing quality. Yeah, yeah, that's probably that's probably something, huh? You just try to get like as viral as possible to get people to notice you, and you're just like, yeah, yeah. See how big on the internet you could get in a day. That would be crazy, cause that's a that's a crazy goal to try to achieve. And then the next day, nobody remembers, and you have to start all over again. Or, you know, you can build on what you already created or what you already put out there. That would that would be one thing to do, I guess. I don't know. There's just, just... I just feel like after you try things and you do things over and over and over again, you get a little bit bored. I, I And that's something that... I mean, obviously, 
you can always occupy your mind. You could read books, you could do watch movies, you could you could do whatever, you know, you could go driving, you could rob a you could rob a bank in this world in a, in a time loop, right? And you would never get in trouble, you know. You could commit all kinds of things. You could jump off of a building and then wake up and it's the next day and you're like, "Oh man, not even that works." You know, you can experience that. But then you get bored. Again, you're just like, "All right, let me see let me try something new, something that's that feels good. And that's kind of what gets Bill Murray out of his case. Also, I would try so many different foods, so many different restaurants. I would go up to people. You know, when you're that bored, right? When you're that low, there's nothing to lose. You could literally ask somebody, hey, can I come over to your house for dinner? And if they say no, then it's like, all right, whatever. Then you move on to the next person and you're like, hey, let me come over to your house and cook for you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Go to the grocery store and get a bunch of uh, ingredients that you normally would never make. or And spend like a bunch of money on like a big feast that you would never possibly in a million years. You know, you could perf- you could perfect cooking. You could essentially perfect cooking in this time loop. That's that's another thing I would try. I would try a lot of recipes. So many different foods out there. I gotta, you know, I would love to try. I would love to practice cooking. I would love to practice baking as well. Try, try that. And does it even matter what I eat, right? Like if I eat like cheeseburgers for a whole week straight, did I really eat a cheeseburger whole, a whole week straight? It just resets the whole day. So, I don't gain weight. I don't lose weight either. So, it's kind of that, that weird period where it's like, it doesn't matter what I eat because the next day I'm just going to be the same regular guy. And it's also like, if I if I don't eat good then maybe I'll feel terrible for the rest of the day. You know, what if I get food poisoning right off the gate? You could be a doctor during this time loop. You could study medicine. And realistically, you could get a whole 12-year medical education while in this infinite time loop. But, you know, obviously, I don't have all the all the necessary tools to... Or like, I'm talking about like the equipment and stuff, like the, the 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 things that they use to practice. You know, like CPR dummies. They have like a big CPR dummy, and they'll pra- practice compressions on it, or they'll do certain like exams and stuff and uh, tests and whatnot to like. Uh, because I, I saw this video of like these med students, and they were being quizzed on. I think talking to the patient about their illness or whatnot. And one of the parts about it was kind of how they spoke about things or what they talked about or any questions to clear up or any, like, even the smallest thing that they miss is like, you passed, but this is something that you can improve on. You didn't answer this question properly or you could have added this part to it, or you missed this uh, crucial uh, component about it. You know what I'm saying? And you wouldn't get that if you you just teach yourself, but you could learn like a, a good base of it, or being a lawyer as well. But what was I talking about? Food, right? You're in this world, and you just, you could become a world famous you could become an amazing chef in a single day just from getting new and new different different foods from the grocery store every day and cooking nonstop. that's what i would i would love to try that i would love to have that time to dedicate to like making pasta and to making burritos that would be fun that would be cool and that would be a good a good use of my time because I have to eat stuff when I like to try different foods and and make them myself. That would be fun. That would be cool. 
Um, and they would, yeah. I mean, if I don't gain any weight and I don't lose any weight, there would be no reason to really. There would be no incentive to exercise, right? It would just be like, yeah, well, this is. I guess if you want to feel good, because I I feel great after a good workout. Right after after you go to the gym and and you do your exercises and then you leave and you drink that that whole that whole thing of water that you brought to the gym as you're walking out the front door, it feels good. It does feel good. It it really clears the mind a lot. It also gets out aggression and it it helps the body get in tip top shape. But I think after a while, you might get bored of it well there's always a new exercise to try there's always another uh, athletic thing you could do I don't know I, I feel like I would be very dissuaded from doing exercise but on the other hand if it betters me right if I get really into it then maybe I will get better I don't know that that's the that's the weird thing is that the day resets so everything that I did that day doesn't matter doesn't matter how healthy I am doesn't matter how hard I push my body but I guess the habit of doing it over and over again and then once the day is uh once the day officially ends right because at the end of Groundhog Day there is the February third there is the next day you know. So, uh, I I guess I guess it's about building healthy habits, right? Building good habits that you can then take on to the next day. So if I repeatedly exercise and I repeatedly, you know, drink water, I eat salads, I eat healthy foods, then naturally, over time, and I and I do and 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 enjoy it, then I guess over time. Uh, even if the day ends, I'll still continue to do it, you know, in this infinite time loop. I mean, if I do it in that infinite time loop and then it ends, then I'll be more like, yeah, of course I'm going to do it because it makes me feel good and I like it and whatnot. Although I don't know if I would reap any, but that's the thing is I, I won't get any of the benefits of doing it on a day to day basis because there is no next day, right? The body won't won't know. It'll just be what it is now, which is not the epitome of health, if you will. So I don't think I don't think ex I, I would I would say if you want to do it, but you might get bored of it pretty quickly. I uh, I also think what's something else that I kind of messes up this whole flow of things i guess friendships right if you meet somebody really really cool and super super fun i i mean just imagine the amount of people you could get to know in this infinite time loop i would just love to try to get to know as many of these people as i could on a day-to-day -day basis because the time resets so i try to get know get to know this person right away and then once i get to know them um, so right after I get to know them, I like build slowly each and every single day. I try to figure them out, try to learn more and more about them, get in depth. And then once I'm, and then once I think I know just about enough, enough of them to like form a friendship quickly, like a bond, then from there, I guess like mission accomplished, you know, you know, you know, this person, you're like friends now. You can move on to somebody else and make friends with them and, and do the rest of that. That would be that would be a cool little experiment for yourself. It'd be really difficult for I mean, obviously in this world it wouldn't be difficult, but like if you're extremely shy, it would be really difficult for you because you would just be like, uh no, no. But that's the thing, you have to change. Especially in this in this uh cycle, this never ending cycle for you. You have no choice but to try to change. So, yeah, I, that's something I would try. I would definitely give it a shot. There, there's literally nothing to lose in it. And if if that's not what I need to do, then great. I I'm still stuck in it. And I can still, 
change in a different way. I can still better myself uh, another way. And I don't know. Do I just get infinite sleep? Like. The day resets at uh, 11.59 or 12 a.m., right? So. If I go to sleep. Like, oh, hold on, hold on. Does does sleep really even matter in this scenario? Because if I go to sleep, right? Like, let's say I stay up, realistically, let's say I stay up until like 1, 1 a.m., right? And then that's when I go to sleep and then I wake up at like 8 o'clock or whatever. Would... My sleep still count? Or would just the day reset and I'm re- I wake up and I'm refreshed? Because I think in the in the movie, he just wakes up and it's like 7 a.m. or whatever. And that's supposedly his sleep time. He, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall. But I'm just trying to be like, if I sleep in, is that a waste? What if I, what if what I need to do, what if my change in life is that I need to sleep more, like have a, a, a better relationship with my sleep? What if my, my whole purpose in this whole thing is to get, change my sleep schedule? That would be it, dude. That's, I have no problem with that. I would love to change the sleep schedule, but you have to. You'd really have to... It's more of a mental game. You'd have to try so many things to go to sleep. Just go to the store and buy a bunch of z or whatever. Just like dope up. I don't recommend this, but I'm just saying. You, you dope up and then you, you pass out. And then the next day you wake up feeling refreshed and happy. And it is the next day. You're not in the loop anymore. And you're like, wow, I just fixed my my whole schedule. My whole sleep schedule, I mean. And so sleeping, so sleeping would recharge you or wouldn't recharge you. It's just difficult to imagine, like, or I guess if you spend the day napping. I I honestly have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Uh, I would travel a lot. I would try to see how far I could, how far I could travel in a day. So from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., what do we got to do to travel? So we travel from here, and we'll see what we we can do. I bet... uh, I I have no idea. I would like to go to Japan. That would be cool, going going to Japan. But we'll start small. I'm not saying we start big, but we start small. We'll go to like another... Another, uh, we'll go to another state first, right? That's not, that's not incredibly difficult. We'll go to one state and then we'll say, okay, let's see if we can go to two states and then three states. And then eventually we're like, all right, let's see if we can make it to Canada. Stuff like that. You know, you, you learn, you learn by trying it. Right. And this is with nothing, you know, no planning, no, no, uh, well, I guess you could plan. You could spend your whole time planning the day out, right? So I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and this. And then when the day resets, like I know it will, the next day, then I can get started. I can go. And then zoom, you get going with it. That's what I would I would try traveling. I would definitely try traveling. Imagine if you get to where you want... Uh, Imagine you get to where you want to go, and then at the last sec, like, you... What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that, like, you travel, and then you can only spend, like, one minute in Italy. You know what I'm saying? You only have, like, a a short amount of time there, but if you you make it worth it, it could be awesome. That's, That's what I'm trying to say, is that the whole traveling thing is... What if I go want to go somewhere, but it takes too long to get there, and then when I finally do arrive, I don't have like a whole bunch of time there. But I guess if you try it multiple, multiple more, more and more times that you try it and that you do it, 
then eventually you will succeed. You'll you'll get it done. And uh, I do think that you could learn so many different languages through this. That's also another thing. If you're going to travel to Italy, might as well learn some Italian, right? Like that could be a new a new goal. You're just like, I want to go to Italy and then I'm going to study Italian. I'm going to learn Italian just so I can go over there for all of one hour or however long it takes to get there, which in a 24-hour time span... Uh, I'm trying to think. Really depending on where you live, but... Let's say the flight there is like... Let's say the flight there is long. You know, it just takes a long day. So 24 hours. You start right at 12 a.m. Like, And it takes like maybe an hour to get to the airport. So you have 23 hours plus the flight over 10 hours. So you really have, you got plenty of time in Italy. And it also depends on their, the time difference between where you live and where they live and what you can actually achieve and get done and what you can do over there. But yeah, you could, you could do anything. That, that, that's a, that, that's something I would try. That's something I would do. Something I really like. And also you could just do a bunch of different hobbies. You could do, uh, you could have so much fun. You could do, you could throw a big party, spend all your money, and it doesn't matter. Well, what if, that, th th that's the thing that they don't talk about, right? Is what if you end up breaking the whole curse, you don't know it, and then you've done something completely horrible? Like, that's the part of the, the thing that they don't tell you or they don't want you to think about, right? But I suppose the whole concept is that you do good things right you wouldn't end the cycle by doing horrible or bad things you would end the cycle by being a good person and doing good things with people not being uh, a criminal you know being a criminal does is that's not how you want to really live your life so it the the cycle leans more towards if you do good things It'll end up right. So, you you really could spend all of your money all in one go. And then, naturally, the day will end and it'll reset and you'll have all your money back. You know, you, you, you got to think of stuff like that. You got to think of, of every little trick that you can try to to do things that you normally wouldn't you you get to that hobby that you always wanted to try you do it you always wanted to do pottery well break into the pottery place and start pottery you know all the cops are going to do is arrest you and what 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 happens what they going what happens next huh they shoot you boom you're up the next day or the same day the the clock just resets they can't, you're immortal, you're invincible, nothing can happen to you. Oh, what, what happened? Oh, you broke your arm? Well, guess what? The next day, it's going to be completely healed. You can't die. It'll be extremely painful. That's, uh, I guess we don't want to experience that, right? It will, it will hurt a lot, but in that pain, I'm telling you, in that pain, you will understand people so much better. And, you know, after you break your arm and then you go to the hospital and you see somebody break their arm, you're like, I completely understand you. I completely understand what you're going through. And they're like, what? You've never broken a bone. And it's like, well, that you know of. But I was in this infinite time loop thing and it turns out I broke a bunch of bones and I understand what the pain is. I understand how long it's going to take for you to heal from it. That's another... You could use your body for science. You could be like... You could jump off of buildings and stuff. And be like... These are the injuries that I received. And... Um, I know that... I know the terminology about it. I know the procedures about it. I know what this is and that is. And... I know these certain doctors. 
all of that stuff comes into play right then and there. I guess you could also let's let's lean more towards having fun, not not breaking your body for science, huh? For scientific purposes. There's a just trying different and fun things, doing uh, exciting things that matter to you. You know, you could go to you could literally relive concerts every day if you can find them, right? And that's what the the you're going out there to live your life. So whatever you find fun and enjoyable for you, you should go do it and explore it. At least give it a try. You got nothing to lose. And so I feel that if you have nothing to lose, you're going to definitely try to enjoy your time a lot more. You're going to love your life a lot more because of it. And that's the whole thing about this, right? That's that's what matters the most is appreciating the time that you do have to do the things that you want, the things that matter to you, the things that you love. So when you're in Groundhog Day, it's really a, a look down on yourself and time for yourself and for you to say, hey, you can be the best version of yourself if you give yourself the time to do it, if you appreciate yourself, if you love yourself, if you give yourself the time to grow and develop and to chase the things that you genuinely like, if you become the person that you genuinely want to be and a good person. We should all want to be good people, right? Hopefully. But my whole point about this was because now it's Groundhog, Groundhog Day, where where would I fit in repeating myself, my day-to-day life every single day? And I would definitely want to um, use my time the best way possible. So I would try to pull all-nighters if I don't have to sleep. If I don't have to sleep and I naturally, like when the day resets, I get all my energy back, I would love that. But is that realistic? I have no idea. We're in a time loop. Nothing's realistic. But if I have no choice but to sleep, then I have to to use my time wisely. I have to sleep, you know, in periods. So if I'm like traveling somewhere, I'll have to sleep on the plane. Oh, why do I need to sleep on the plane? Well, I I don't usually fall asleep at that at that time whenever I'm I'm on the flight. So maybe I'll have to I'll have to bring something beforehand to get me sleepy and tired and then I can pass out while I'm riding in the plane. You know what I'm saying? Cuz if you don't if you waste the time like every single day, you're just going to stay in that loop forever. Once you actually start getting up and doing stuff, that's when you can break the curse. Just like Bill Murray. Bill Murray could do it. You could do it. I bet you, I bet you I could do it a lot faster than Bill Murray. I don't know. Relatively, I have no idea how long he spends in there, but it sounds like a long time. It it seems like a long time, like a whole movie was dedicated to it, but they, they try to do it quick for you. You know, two hours, 24 hour, whole day, not the same thing. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to say, I know for a fact, uh, let me, I think I could probably get out of, break the curse. I think I could do it in like a month. I I really think I could do it in like a month. It won't be too hard, but will it? That's the tough thing is. You don't know when, when, until you're in it, right? I would like to be in it with people. Oh, that's another... That, that that should be another... Like a Groundhog Day too, Where it's like a group of friends. They're all stuck in this, in this thing. But they each like... Individually are different. And they each have different pursuits in life. And they each try to achieve it. But they're stuck in this time loop thing together. And they all know about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... At first, the group is, like, all stuck together, and they're trying to, like, um, 
they're trying to figure out how to break the curse. But then eventually, it's more, it's less about them all sticking together and more about them individually leaving the group to to become their own pr- person while still having a little bit of like love and affection for one another. You know what I'm saying? That could be cool. That's just, hey, that my, that's how my brain works. That's just what, what happens. I'm sure that that idea has been thought of before, but I just like to speak it out loud. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube, uh, for, for subscribing to the YouTube. It, uh, it is really, it's really nice that you guys, that you guys do that for me. So when you're in Groundhog Day, appreciate your time and use it well for, to benefit you. And yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for listening.